Hey y'all, so Texas Lifestyle Magazine is here with Penny and Sparrow. Thanks for joining us today, y'all. All right, we're excited to have y'all. So I y'all are y'all grew up in Texas, is that correct? True, correct. And where did y'all grow up exactly? Grew up in Dallas, Texas. Okay. Uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth. Okay. Is that how y'all met and started the band here? No, we, we met at University of Texas. University of Texas. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us just a little bit about that and how that came about? Yeah, sure. So I um, was living in Hyde Park in Austin. I was really close with his now wife, then girlfriend. She came to me and asked me if um, her boyfriend could move into my house, and I said, that will lower rent. <laughs> and I said, bring him on in. He moved into my room, and we started. I was learning guitar at the time, and he's got an insane voice. And so we just started playing music together, covering songs. And that's it. Since That's amazing. Then, yeah. We've been uh, here at ACL one other time before today, and it was 10 years ago. Oh. Yeah, 10 years ago, and I think we played at like uh, 7 a.m. for like 12 minutes. <laughs> I think that's how long they gave us. Yeah. And, and we did great. Yeah. And now we've been doing music for a decade. Can't believe we still get this job. I love it, and I hope we get to have it for 30 more years. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you will. Well, that's amazing. All right, and so how has growing up in Texas influenced your sound or shaped it in any way? We both grew up loving country music, like all things Texas in terms of from uh, Cross Canadian Ragweed to Jason Bowen and the Stragglers to, I mean, everybody that you could think of from the outlaw country world of the 90s, early 2000s, that was sort of where we cut our teeth. But we also like grew up with moms and dads who was in a country radio. So Vince and Reba and Dolly and everything before. From Ray, pa Ray Price, Slim Whitman onward. So country has always been a part of shit that we love, but on top of that, you don't avoid the things that you dig. So growing up listening to that music and having every country song from 1985 to 2008 memorized is a nice thing. And it's unavoidably seeping into our music. I'd love to hear that. And so your new single, Country, has just been released. What inspired the song and how does it set the tone for the upcoming album? I feel like what Andy just said was the perfect answer to that. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, because most of our other stuff is not very country. It's more on the folk world, more in the like Simon and Garfunkel world, but yeah. But Texas is like, uh, what, what is the radio station in Dallas? Oh God, well there's 99.5 The Wolf. Right. Yeah, and then on top of that there's 96.3 KSCS. That's right. And then there was 92.5 KCPS. That's right. And all of those were like radio stations that because we, we didn't know this, we grew up so close to each other, like we were listening to the exact same radio. And so all the classic rock and radio stations were the same between us. And so it felt nice to finally release something under Penny and Sparrow's name that paid homage to Texas, Texas country, to everything from Pat Green, Max Stalling, all the way down to George Strait. So it felt lovely to get to tip the cap to them. Also Crystal Waters, also Brandy and Monica. We're all over the map. That's true. I love that. That's, That's true. awesome. All right. And so can you highlight some key themes that you explore in Lefty, your upcoming album? Sure. At least from our perspective, we wanted this to be the most diverse, uh, spectrum uh, album we've ever released, and we did it. We wanted to play with as many sounds, as many different genres and types as we could, and we achieved it. Like, we gave ourselves so much runway that said no to, uh, we didn't say no to any sound that felt like it wasn't us, because we were making it, we wrote these songs, and we contain inside of ourselves a whole bunch of different tastes. So if I like that many different flavors, why not paint with them? So we did. Perfect answer. No, perfect yes. answer. Yeah. <laughs> and how does Lefty build on or defer from your last album, Ali Ali? Ooh, I got this one. Yes. Lefty. So most of our other albums, I feel like, are pretty cohesive. Yeah. Similar sounds per song. This album, we've got some house music. We've got some country songs. We've got some folk music. We've got some singer-songwriter music, R &B. we got some R&B music, rock and we got some classic rock and roll, we got some, all, we're just all over the map. We listened to, I mean, uh, the White Album by the Beatles, God, is one of our favorite albums, but as an inspiration, it is just so buck wild, and we, we didn't want to shy away from doing anything, and any of our other previous albums, we wanted to make a cohesive album we wanted to make it all sound the same all the way through and this one we were like no each song different keep a listener on their toes every single song and thus is lefty was born lefty okay. 
Love that. And so what can fans expect from your upcoming single, Cheers to Good Friends, which is actually being released next Friday? It's pretty exciting. Okay, we don't know what that was, but we're going to ignore that. We're all alive. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're fine. It's okay. So the upcoming single is Cheers to Good Friends, and the best thing I can tell you about this is it's the first time that Kyle gets featured as the front man singer for the entirety of the tune. It's just Kyle, 120 proof, unadulterated Kyle Claude Yonke, which the world misses. It doesn't know it doesn't have it yet, but yeah. when it has it, it will need more. Yeah, right. So that's correct. That's true. That's true. All right, and so last question here. So after Lefty drops, what are your hopes for its impact and your musical journey moving forward? Oh, I hope it makes so much money that we get to do this for 40 years. <laughs> I concur. Please, well, please, God. Please, please listen to our songs. <laughs> please listen to their songs, everyone. All right, well, thank you all so much for chatting with us, Texas Lifestyle Magazine. We're excited to be here with you, and we're looking forward to seeing what you all have next. So thank, thank you all again. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Yeah. Sign off.